you so long. Oh, of course. You were getting the wine I asked you to get. The wine, Dorian? The Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, I had it at a wine tasting last week. It was stunning. Sorry, Dorian. We looked everywhere. Couldn't find it. Oh, well, thank you so much for searching for it. I have to question why you would ask Mr. Banks, of all people, to buy alcohol. As I recall, you mentioned you were an alcoholic. In recovery, yeah. And you drugged him unconscious? Poured alcohol down his throat? What kind of person does these things, Dr. Lord? What kind of doctor are you? Actually... Yeah, it's a little hard to explain. Don't even try, Charlie. What I did to you was... reprehensible. And I don't think there's any way that I can ever make it up to you, but believe me, I'm going to try. What I did to this man was horrible. Absolutely horrible. And yet, here he is, along with his fiancée. But not for me, for your son and my daughter. Two wonderful young people who love each other very much. You invite us to your home so you could lie to us? Deceive us? Vamos! Geraldo! No! Not so fast. You're right. I invited you into my home under the mistaken impression that I could charm you into accepting me and therefore, by extension, my daughter. I wanted you to forgive me for the way I behaved at the graduation party. I was in a great deal of personal pain. I drank too much and, well, we all know the rest of that story. Yes, I can be a very self-centered and impetuous person, and yet I am one of the most generous, kind people that you will ever meet in your life. So why don't you just get off your high horse and stop acting so damn superior? I don't have to listen to this. Your son was raised in a very loving, supportive home, but he is not a child anymore. He is a man, and he is in love with my daughter. And no matter how she wears her hair or how she dresses, he is lucky to have her. There is no fighting this. And if you do so, help me, you're going to lose him. This is a very fine sentiment from you, Dr. Lord. But we are leaving. Ernesto, please. You too, Geraldo. This is not the girl, not the family for you. Ernesto, we should at least stay and have the meal with gentlemen prepared for us. Geraldo, now! I'm not going. Son, I'm making a choice. And I choose Langston. Dr. Lord's right. Langston's worth fighting for. Now, I love you, Papi, but you have... Geraldo, do I have to remind yes, you? Yes, I know. As long as I live under your roof, I follow your rules. Okay. I'll sleep in the park if I have to, but you can't keep us apart anymore. I love Langston. And we made love because it was right for us. And I know that you don't agree with that. Agree? It is a mortal sin, mijo. And I respect your beliefs, papi. But I have to be my own man. I have to be true to myself, and I have to be true to Langston. Stop. Where are you going? Langston and I are going to go upstairs now. We're going to close the door to her room, and we're going to do what we want to do. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. Stop. Come back here. 